Good day, students. Welcome to second quarter. In today's lesson, I will help you understand the historical development of the concept of life. The most essential learning competency today is to explain the evolving concept of life based on the emerging pieces of evidence. Let's start with this question, which refers to the theory that presumes that the seed of life exists all over the universe and can be propagated through space and that life on Earth originated from those seeds. A. Divine creation. B. Extraterrestrial origin. C. Panspermia. D. Origin from the non-living matter. Answer will be given at the end of the lesson. American chemist Stanley Miller performed an experiment that replicated the early Earth conditions. Together with Harold Urey, he provided proof that amino acids and other organic molecules could be formed. The atmosphere that Miller and Urey introduced into the flask contained simple molecules that were probably present in the early Earth atmosphere namely hydrogen, carbon dioxide, methane, water vapor, nitrogen, ammonia, and carbon monoxide. They heated the mixture, sapped it with electrical spark to stimulate lightning. Within days, a dark smelling mixture developed. When this mixture was analyzed, they found out that many complex molecules had been formed, including some amino acids, which are the building blocks of protein. Using slightly different combination of starting molecules, Miller and other scientists were able to generate many amino acids, RNA and DNA, nucleotides, lipids, carbohydrates, and adenosine triphosphate, or the ATP. There were no witnesses to the origin of life. However, there are possible explanations that attempt different possibilities on how life could have begun. These are the four theories on the origin of life. Number one, extraterrestrial origin. The hypothesis explains that life originated on another planet outside our solar system. Life was then carried on Earth on a meteorite or an asteroid and colonized Earth. However, this hypothesis has not been proven. Number two, panspermia. The theory presumed that the seed of life exists all over the universe and can be propagated through space and that life on Earth originated from those seeds. Number three, divine creation. Many people believe that life was put on earth by divine forces. Creation theories are common to many of the world's religions and cultures. Lastly, origin from non-living matter. Scientists believe that life arose on Earth from inanimate matter after Earth had cooled. They stated that random events probably produced stable molecules that could self-replicate. Then, natural selection favored changes in the rate of the reproduction, which eventually led to the first cell. That's all for today. We will continue our discussion in our next lesson. Okay, thank you.